my name's David Argyll. I have the privilege and pleasure to be the head of school here at the Royal Dick School of Veterinary Studies. Um, and, and thank you for inviting me. Thank you for the organization. This is absolutely fantastic. Scotland has had a remarkable impact, um, has had remarkable impact advancing agriculture over the centuries, not least in the development of animal breeds such as Aberdeen, Angus, and Chevius. It is the legacy and its global extension, the role of the University of Edinburgh in particular, the contribution of Professor Robin Thompson that we celebrate today. Robin Thompson is a pioneering leader in the field of statistics, quantitative genetics, and animal and plant breeding. He started his career in Edinburgh in the late 1960s at the then an Agricultural Research Unit of Statistics, later moving to the Animal Breeding Research Organization, which ultimately became part of the Roslyn Institute. He remained here until the mid-1990s when he moved to the Institute of Arable Crops Research at Rothamsted as head of the prestigious Department of Statistics, established by R.A. Fisher that laid the foundation for much of modern-day statistics. In the 1970s, while based at the University of Edinburgh, Robin and Desmond Patterson proposed and developed a new statistical method which came to be called REML. Now, I've probably said that wrong, so I'm not a statistician at all, so I apologize. It now dominates in several fields, including statistics, genetics, breeding, field trial analysis. As a simple of Google search for REML will attest, data collection in many Real-life settings are inherently unbalanced. That is, the number of observations in different categories of interest vary considerably. An REML provides optimized statistical methodology for such data. The foundation paper in 1971, Recovery of Interblock Information When Block Sizes Are Unequal, is a citation classic with more than 3,700 citations to date. These days, REML is implemented in most in most widely used statistical analysis packages. In addition to inventing this methodology, Robin has made significant contributions to the development of computationally efficient algorithms to facilitate the application of RML to large data sets. Of these, the most important in his average information algorithm developed in the 1990s. Robin, together with Arthur Gilmore, developed a versatile and efficient software package called ASR EML, and again, I apologize if I've said that incorrectly, that is the most widely used in animal and plant breeding across the globe today. Robin has made a broad range of contributions to the development of rigorous science underpinning UK and global animal and plant breeding programs. His collaborations with the various Edinburgh groups had and continue to have particular impact on UK dairy, beef, and sheep breeding. Finally, Robin has made a major input to postgraduate education in Edinburgh. For many years, he taught comp components of the MSc in animal breeding and quantitative genetics. He was a formal supervisor of more than 20 research students and an informal mentor to many more. Robin has been incredibly generous with his ideas to both students and established researchers. Several of his former students have now international reputations. And I just want to add my own personal note there. I am really pleased that we were able to confer an honorary doctorate on Robin and we really look forward to the graduation day tomorrow. And I hope you have a fully enjoyable to day today here in Edinburgh. As you can see, the sun is shining on us, as it does every day in Edinburgh. So I hope you enjoy your time here, and, and, and thank you for your attention. I'm going to pass over now to Eleanor Riley, uh, Director of the Roslyn Institute.